Hi, I'm JD, and what we're gonna be doing today is finding a multiplicative inverse matrix. So if you would, pause the video and see if you can try this one on your own. All right, the setup is always the same. You have your matrix that you're trying to find the inverse of, and then you have the identity matrix here. Two things you wanna look for before you even start a problem like this. First, is it a square matrix? You can only find a multiplicative inverse matrix of a square matrix. Second, its determinant has to be non-zero. If it's zero, you cannot find the multiplicative inverse matrix. It doesn't have one. So first find the determinant you have two times zero minus a negative three times four. When you do this, two times zero is zero. Then you have this, a negative negative makes it a plus, so it's three times four, which makes it a positive 12. That is non-zero. So there is one of this um, matrix. So basically what you want to do is your goal is to get the identity matrix here. Once you do that, this portion of it, portion of the augmented matrix, is going to be your multiplicative inverse matrix. So you just do transformations. First, let's shift the rows. Since this has a, um, a zero here, let's just shift them first. So I'm gonna switch row one and row two. And whatever you do, you're doing it to the whole entire row. So if I'm switching this over here, I have to also switch this. Zero, one, and this would be uh, two, four, one, zero. All right, what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna make this one. If I make it one, all these things are a lot easier. So I'm gonna take row one and then multiply it by a negative one third. When I do that, this becomes a positive one. This is a zero. This is gonna be zero. And this is gonna be negative one third. This is two, four, one, zero. All right, so obviously you're gonna need a lot of room when you do a problem like this. So I'm gonna erase this. I'm gonna erase these two steps. So I'm gonna have to do a couple steps at a time only. I'm just gonna do the next step up here and then I'm gonna erase this line. So make sure that you have this and just keep track of all the steps. So next, I wanna cancel this out, the two, and I wanna make that a zero. So to do that, to make that a zero, I'm gonna take row two minus Let's see what scalar uh, two row one. So I'm only changing this row. So when I do that, uh, two minus two is zero. This is four. Right, that's what I'm starting off with. Four minus zero is four. Uh, this is what I'm starting off with. So one minus zero is one. This guy right here, I'm starting off with zero and I'm putting this in here so that's Negative two times a negative one third gives me two thirds. And 
and then I just do the top. Next, what I'm gonna do is, you see this four here, right? I wanna get rid of it. And I wanna make it one, because I wanna make this the identity matrix. So I'm gonna take one fourth, I'm gonna times R2. So this is one, zero, zero, negative, one third. And then this right here is just zero, because I'm just times it by one fourth. One fourth times four is one. One fourth times one is one fourth. And two thirds times one fourth is two over 12. I'm going to write that there, 2 over 12, and that can be simplified to 1 over 6. So the inverse matrix, the multiplicative inverse matrix, is going to be 0, negative 1 third, 1 fourth, 1 sixth. And that's it.